Hello everybody, this is Anna. I wanted to share something with you. Um, understanding, understanding I have been having these um, last few days. Certainly you have heard that, heard that thoughts create our reality. And um, this understanding also as we could say, yeah, as an observation that thoughts are prophecy, prophecies of our, we could say, destiny life. If you think in a certain way, that, that thought will manifest sooner or later. In other words, to exaggerate, but it's not really an exaggeration, it's real reality. Imagine a life, or yeah, imagine a movie, you could say in other words, where you are the character where you, uh, as soon as you think of something, it happens, whether it's negative or positive. If you think you are a failure, something happens in your situation that makes you become a failure. Let's say you, you drop, you run, and all of a sudden you, you fall down. As soon as you think about that. Or think about a situation on the other side that's positive. I am successful or I am lovable. People start telling you, hey, you're a lovable person. And all of a sudden, oh my gosh, I'm lovable. Imagine, like, it almost seems like a science, science fiction situation where you literally manifest what you think. Imagine a situation like that. Where, like, I'm not talking about not even years for your thought to manifest or months, but at the moment. Like, I think about a dog and it, I see a dog. It would, it would be a crazy reality, almost science fiction as I said. Well, reality is like science fiction, we could say. In other words, sometimes what happens is that some time occurs between what we think, our intentions, and what is manifested. And there's a reason why. There is this time factor. This time factor are our, like, maybe sometimes doubts, uncertainties, karma. So, all these factors create that time that is necessary for that situation to manifest. That's why more we work on our thoughts, more they manifest quickly. In other words... So, that's what I wanted to share, and because I literally experienced this these days, that when I think something, it would happen. And it wasn't, it's not happening very intentionally, like, let's say, I, I, I do it on purpose almost, like, okay, I think about a dog, and then I wanted to see it, no. It happens very casually, without my, we could say, without my, without my full intention, it wouldn't be very uh, accurate, but I would say, but I, I would just think casually about something, oh, okay, uh, I have to go to the supermarket, and I uh, have to do this, and then I have to encounter my friend, then my friend calls me, and I wasn't expecting that my friend was going to call me, let's say. Um, and if I try to put my attention, I want my friend to call me, I want my friend to call me, it doesn't happen. At least not, not uh, where I am at the moment, because some people maybe, they, they do have that experience, and not maybe. People, I'm sure I know that people do have that kind of experience. But in my case, what's happening is like interesting because I notice that the reason all also behind of the 
uh, of why certain intentions and thoughts manifest quickly or not is, I said, because of our doubts. And uh, also because um, something else to say, I don't remember what. It was because of our doubts. Oh, yes. And because when we put, it's like it's like putting a brick into a brick, like a stone into a river. When you put that something, it blocks, hey, <laughs> it blocks, it kind of blocks the flow. So what happens is that when you kind of do it on purpose, you kind of re create that resistance that makes that thought or intention, uh, not manifest as quickly as we want, in other words. And uh, instead, when it happens kind of casually, it's because you didn't, you didn't really ex have that expectation. So I think it's also about expectation. So expectation, uh, doubts, um, and because when you put a strong intention to something, there's also kind of um, resistance to it. And uh, w instead, when you do something without expectation, there's less resistance. So, in that case, that's what I notice in me, that something happens quicker when there's not that resistance. So I, I question myself, how do I create that non-resistance? It's through not... I'm not having expectations, which is not an easy thing at the moment because I think it requires a lot of practice and doing it, redoing it over again, just like a muscle. So yeah, that's what I wanted to share with you. And for me, it was a pretty powerful understanding. It is a powerful understanding. I'm sure it, it is, will and it is a powerful understanding also for you. That's what I wanted to share, and see you next time <laughs> for other revelations and understandings to share. Thank you.